Hey guys, it's Yvette and woohoo, I'm so excited. Um, we have gotten our instructions on week five for assembling our quilt uh, for the Fort Worth Fabric Studios A Day in May Mystery Quilt. And um, here's the diagram. So we know exactly where all of the uh, squares are gonna go. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put them all together row by row, and then I'm gonna attach the rows to each other. So let's put together this top row here. Okay, let me lay these out over here. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have one of these, and then we're going to have two of these, and then another like this, but turned that way. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, mark my seams at a quarter inch, I'm going to go over and sew them together, and then once I have the uh, entire first row done, I will come back and show you that, and then we'll move on to row two. Okay, so I have finished um, connecting these four squares uh, to make the top row, and as you can see, there it is. <laughs> okay, so let me go set this aside. Yep, plenty of room everywhere here. Ha ha, that's really funny. Okay, so <laughs> now let's put together row two. Um, let's see. Looks like I need one of these turned this way. And then I'm going to have uh, one of these turned this way. I'm going to have this one turned that way. And then one of these and it's turned that way. And the reason I'm I'm looking at that and I can see um that the two pink sides are to the inside um and then the dark to the outside. So that's how that would turn. And it, uh, same thing for the first one. Um you could see that the dark is to the left and the pink is to the right, right? Um, okay, so I'm going to mark my quarter inch on these blocks. I'm gonna go and um, connect them and then I'll be right back to show you row two. Okay, so I'm back and this is row two. There we go, go from the left <laughs> down to the right. Um, okay, so I've done row two. It's um, about 8 p.m. and ready for dinner, so I think I'm going to just stop for the night, and tomorrow I'll be able to finish uh, these last two rows, and then we'll connect those, and then boop -ba -da -boo, we'll have it ready, <laughs> and um, I'll be all ready to go and have it quilted or do whatever it is I want to do with it. Um, and I'm just having such a good time doing this with you guys, so I hope you feel the same way. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Okay guys, so here we are, I'm back. I'm going to set up this uh, row three. So let's get those pieces out. I'm going to have this guy. Um, which is this square with the dark pieces to the left and the pink to the right. And then um, these two guys, let me pull those out. Okay, so we're going to have the um, leaves pointed this way. And then we're going to have them pointed down and to the right. And then we'll take this last piece with the dark to the outside and the pink to the inside. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark all of these at quarter inch and I'm going to join them in one big row. 
I'll press them and then I'll be right back. We'll get to that last row. Okay, so I have um, joined together my row three. And here we go. There it is. Um, okay, so there's row three. I'll set that aside. And the last row, uh, which is row four, here we go. We are going to have this flower pointed down and to the left. We are going to have this square with the pink on top and the darker colors on the bottom. And again, lighter the pinks on the top, the darker colors on the bottom. And then finally, um, we're going to have the last flower pointing down and to the right. So we have all of these ready. I am going to mark my quarter inch seams. I'm going to attach them together. And after I have pressed them, I will come back uh, to show you the last row, <laughs> which is row four. And then we'll uh, start to join them all together. I'm getting so excited. You have no idea. <laughs> Alrighty, so I have finished my row four, and here it is in all its glory. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to first attach row two to row one, then I'll attach row three to row one and two, and then finally I'll add row four. And then I'll just come back and show you the finished quilt. Um, well, <laughs> the finished quilt top, let's put it that way. Um, that way you guys kind of get an idea of what it looks like. And I'm sure you don't want me coming back after every single row added on. I mean, that's kind of silly to me. If I'm wrong about that, just let me know. And on the next one, I'll make sure I show every single step. Um, anyway, I'm going to get that done. And when I come back, I will have the finished quilt top to share with you guys. Hey guys, it's Yvette, and I have finished my quilt top. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to kind of try to back up a little bit. I pinned it up so that you can see it. Um, please try to ignore the cotton cuts that I have going on. Um, I'm going to finish that one next, hopefully. I It's the This Way and That Way mystery quilt that started in the fall of 2018. And I just got all of the instructions for putting it together. So um, I'm going to do that. And um, that finish is probably going to be on my website. Um, so if you want to do that, you can go to theyvetterene.com. And also, if you'd like to sign up for that newsletter, I have a VIP newsletter, which will let you know every time I have uh, a new post on the site. And sometimes I will also be sending little emails um, that won't be on the website or anywhere else. Uh, so it'll be just something for you. Um, anyway, so this is it. I can't wait to get it all quilted up. And I'd love to see what you guys did. Um, I know that you can't tell from me standing way back here. But my, um, my corners did not all meet up everywhere. So I think that, and, and you know, for me, piecing like this, putting together um, a quilt like this is not really my strong suit. So I'm still in the process of learning. And I think what I have discovered is that I need to make sure that all my um, blocks measure the same size because um, when I started joining them together in rows, I realized when I started connecting the rows together that the rows did not all meet up. So I'm going to go a little bit closer here <laughs> um, so you can see. Let me see if I can. Um, I'll show you exactly where uh, what I'm talking about. So like look down here. You can see that um, like that corner right there is obviously wrong. Um, now, when you're standing back, you don't notice that. So, if you have stuff like that, honey, just put that thing together. Ain't nobody going to notice. <laughs> um, but see, right there as well, that didn't match up. I'm like a good, 
gosh, quarter inch, almost half an inch off. And, um, and also right there, that was way off. So I have a lot of pieces that are like quite far off. Um, but what I did was I started on the middle to make sure that I got the middle as close to where I needed it to be as possible because that's the focus and that's what people are really looking at first. That's where their eye is drawn. So once I made the middle look like it was supposed to, then the outsides, see when I step back again, you'll see what I mean. Um, you really don't notice that stuff. See how it just kind of blends away? Um, I mean, if you look really closely, those two, like on this side right here, um, those two obviously are not lining up, right? You can tell that the one that's on the bottom is just a little bit to the left. I mean, you could totally tell if you're really looking, but think about it. Like until I pointed that out, did you notice? No, you didn't even notice. So that's the whole point that I'm trying to make right now is that it is good you know, if it means something to you, which it does to me, uh, I think I made that quite clear <laughs> whenever I talk to you guys. Um, it, if it's really like important to you, then definitely do all you can to make sure that all your points are matching up, that your squares are all the same and all of that kind of stuff. But in the long run, it just isn't that noticeable. Okay, so have fun with it. Um, enjoy yourself while you're putting your blocks together because that's really what the whole point of quilting is is just having a really good time it's relaxing um, at least that's that's what it is for me so um, anyway that's it there's my quilt top and I will see you guys in the funny papers <laughs>